One of the beautiful things about being a dancer is when you share that vocabulary and you share an understanding of your body. The further we go with art, the more evolved it will be as far as choreography and the way in which a piece is set up. What we do as dancers, we have our own personalities, our own talents, our own lives. That opportunity just to be in that imaginary world, that wondrous world, is life-altering as it is. Express the confidence and joy that you feel as performers. When I choreograph on you, when I think of your dance movement, I think of when. For an artist, is all of the expressive thoughts and the paint the pictures that you want them to see in your head is so much more elaborate and so much more in detail. There's a communication between all of us that have studied dance. The level of dancing and the level of choreography is so high that we blend so well. As far as motivation goes. And you're making a work of art. Put together your vision. The contrast. Artistic freedom within characters. Translate that dream into reality. Dance is such an athletic art form. And because ballet is up and modern is very grounded, it's interesting to see the Cirque artists with classically trained ballet dancers juxtaposed with each other. Cirque du Soleil has been an important philanthropic partner for Nevada Ballet Theater for many years. And we talked about other ways that Cirque du Soleil and NBT could partner. We came up with the idea of bringing in artists, technicians, designers, and making the giving more action-based. Considering the fact that Guy La Liberté was an emerging artist at one point, he needed a stage, he needed an opportunity. And when we sat down to say, what can we do better with our 1% revenue for the ballet or any theater company is to give them a stage. So he commits a certain portion of that 1% to emerging artists like he was. We are thrilled and so fortunate to be able to partner again with Cirque du Soleil this year and its exceptional artists. It's a unique opportunity for our company to learn and to grow artistically. I think Karen really wanted their artists to be able to be involved in the community in a very different way besides what they do in their own shows. And this was a way of not only giving back to the community, but having them grow as artists, whether or not they are in the show, designers, technicians, etc. I think that um, what was so exciting for us was that we had these two um, fabulous resources. We had Nevada Ballet Theater, which has excellence in ballet, and then we have Cirque du Soleil, which is uh, sort of a combination of dance and, and uh, acrobatics. And we thought, what a fantastic idea to have the two come together and create something completely new. What I see the project is a collaboration between two fine artistic organizations. We start with an invitation to all the artists at both companies to submit choreographic pieces to the artistic directors of both companies. Then there's a panel that goes over the, the submissions of ideas and then five artists from each organization are chosen and offered um, the, the opportunity to create work on both organizations. So then they start moving so you discover the hands. But their hands are actually going to come out of the fabric? So do we need to have the little, little holes there? Do you just want the fabric to, to like, you know, stretch like a hand coming out? No, they're going to be the holes. Are yeah. okay. So not like a hole, but just like a slit big enough to fit a hand so that like people put their hand out and the hand awesome. out and back in. Or so like the whole thing is moving. We look at the program as a whole, so you certainly want a range of styles. You want ballets and works that are both large and small. For instance, who's going to open, who's going to close, so it is a balanced program. My understanding of the project was 
a collaboration and bringing both organizations together and crossing them over into each other's areas. So in, in doing that, I, th I think we came to the table with that same idea and then to reiterate that to each of the choreographers as they sat there that the spirit of this project is doing this and not doing this. And, and I think that that was achieved this year clearly in the works. This is a marrying of all styles and giving dancers the opportunity to do perhaps classical ballet, but giving the ballet folks the opportunity to do something perhaps more jazz, more modern, Bob Fosse, whatever, inspired. So I, I think we're always gonna see a various range of different styles. This year we did something that was really cool to bring everybody to a common ground, and that was we just let everybody improv. And so all of a sudden the energy in the room just changed and there was a camaraderie that I feel existed this year that may have been lost in the past because there's just a, a little bit of trepidation from, from both sides because dancers don't do what the surf performers do, and the surf performers may do some dancing, and so there's like this, it's not a tension, it's almost um, a, a humility, if you will, and, and being very humble. During the audition process, um, the whole point of the showcase was to collaborate, and I didn't want to offend anybody that I worked with, but because I work with them, I already work with them. Me collaborating with them wasn't as important as me collaborating with someone who I never, who I don't know anything about. But what I was looking for from the dancers, because it was a lot of them in that room together. So what I was looking for was mainly a freedom in their torso and who whose bodies would naturally pick up the movement without forcing it. I wanted it to be an organic thing. When you're going into a, a, a new choreographic piece, there's a lot of times that you don't know your dancers, so you're basically aiming to, to style it off of the dancers. You have your vision, but then when you set it, it's gonna change, it's gonna tweak its style that you know starts accommodating to the, to the performer. So it was difficult because you're looking at like 80, 90 dancers in a, in a 1,500, 2,000 square foot room. So you know to barely pinpoint who you want, um, takes quick notice, especially when you're teaching the piece. So you set it, you choreograph it, and then you get a couple times to watch it, and you know you really gotta pick it out. With the choreographer showcase, it's very interesting because you are limited to how many dancers you can have in your piece based off of how many other people need those specific dancers. So if this dancer can only be in two pieces and four choreographers want her, you really have to be open to receiving whoever you can get to partake in your piece. So. As a choreographer, the goal is to get, get your spots filled, but then work with your dancers, their style, to get your piece to come to life. Maybe not necessarily in your truest form, but in the truest form for the artist. It feels really great to be able to volunteer 
to give back to the community. My primary role, um, seeing as this is my third year doing it, um, I'm now the costume coordinator and I share that position with Christine from Nevada Ballet. And so on my end, I really try to facilitate finding people who want to design and matching them up with the choreographers. And I'm the liaison from the Nevada Ballet, getting them the information back to Cirque. This opportunity has allowed me to have growth within the company because a lot of the time when you're just running the show, you're just running the show. You don't get the chance to branch off and try new things. It's either it's a big production like Cirque du Soleil or it's nothing. So this is a nice medium because you get to do a really well produced production for very little cost out of your pocket, which you don't run into very often. Year by year, it gets bigger and bigger, so I've really been able to gain a lot of professional experience with this, and I've been able to design for a grander scale than I have, for example, at work. Because at work is work and it's creative, but this is something completely different, which is so nice to exercise those outside-of-the-box muscles. I'm very proud of the fact that Vegas has this opportunity and I would like there to be more opportunities so I'm making this one work to hopefully have more similar ones of course in the future. I started with a plan and I learned over time that if something isn't working for a dancer you have to be flexible with them you have to allow them to speak to you and that part is really fun because then you are really collaborating with your dancers I had no idea that these women together would be able to create such a powerful feeling and energy. So I'm innumerably pleased. I think that both groups are at a very high level and just kind of opens them up to the possibilities of what they might be able to do as performers. I very often make dances that are about people or about the condition of people or an objective of a person and um, marrying the pedestrian with the abstract and bringing them together is, is one of the most powerful things about contemporary dance. What would be great is if you, if you ran around the circle and then jumped in. Like, almost like you just died. Okay, so you're going to have to come in a little sooner. You count it slow. That's one. It's count. where you can lead an audience into a thought and That's 12. leave enough room of ambiguity for the audience to interpret it in a way that works for them as well. I can see the influences from one group to another with the dancers, with regard to the dancers. Make a, when you cross, I know you're just kind of marking, but when you cross, just make a little more space and feel a little more open than that one. Okay, when you, got, you want to start again? Okay. Okay. Ready? And... In Gail's piece, working with her was so great because she would let us explore some movement and see something she liked. Okay, I'll buy that. I'll, I'll buy that. And then build off of that, which is, is a fun way because, you know, you feel like you're really doing something that not only represents her vision, but yourself as well. I found that they were all willing to kind of grab that concept of character that they were becoming. Like for example, Emma, 
who is uh, an acrobat, was the woman behind the window in Autumn Leaves. I asked her to project being bored, and she did it beautifully, <laughs> which in a way is kind of difficult because it can come across looking sort of sad or mad, but she was able to just look bored. And as in a contrast to that, I had the gentleman around her being over the top, crazy in love and and sort of at her beck and call or ready to be there in adoration of her and her just ignoring them. And that that tension between the two is what makes that piece kind of funny and and strong. I enjoyed working with the choreographers, I enjoyed their concepts, the piece, the people that I got to work with in the piece. So, so it's a good good opportunity to do different movement and explore explore yourself through other people's movement. But with LJ, we all had our own individual characters, so there's so much freedom within that because normally you do a performance and you're, if you're part of a group, you're part of a group. And it was nice that even though we did similar things, that we all had our own artistic freedom within our characters to portray it the way that, that we wanted to do it. Your cast members already know where they are. They're not delusional. They know what they just performed. You don't need to go over and run them into the ground, you know, and, and take out your frustration if you have any. As a leader, the next job for you from that point is to get them to the next point. And the only way to do that is through positive reinforcement. And it can definitely be done in a way that inspires growth in your artists. You need them to trust you. You need them to feel comfortable with you so that they can open up and express themselves. Because ultimately, if your dancer does not express themselves in your piece, they're trying to be something they're not, and that will not come across on stage. Tendrine, stay, uh, stay further down. So when, when the lady, when you go that two, three, boom. Yeah, take your moment here first so that the girls can read without you seeing it. In this particular instance, I was looking more to tell the story and put that Cirque piece together where you had a focal, passages, backdrop, you know, whole setting. So for me, it was more important to tell the story than to really, you know, hammer down on the choreography. Give the guys a little second. Hey boys, how you doing? And then walk away. In this town there is much more And a circus giving what they look for Unconsciously people are drawn To things that feel strong And if I could see I think it's just an awakening to get you out of your norm, get you out to open yourself up to different things and let it impact you in whatever way it's going to. Irony falls on my seeking to find a story that leaves no one behind. I thought it was pretty exciting, you know, it teaches you a lot about staying detached from your ego. It's not just my way or the highway, it, it literally had to be the group dictating where this piece went. I know that there were certain performances I saw in my development as a young dancer that really clicked and really made me realize this is a way of life, this is something you can do, and, and I've always followed that path ever since. One of the most integral parts of this project is the student matinee, which we hold for over 1,200 Clark County students each year. Okay, so the first buses are here. So is the house open? Can I start bringing them in? Because it's after 11.15, so. This is for the Choreographer Showcase, which is a partnership between Nevada Ballet Theater and Cirque du Soleil. So we're bringing all of our outreach children from Future Dance, as well as some special invited guest schools as well. <laughs> when kids come to see something like this, they haven't seen it before. It can be, it can be a profound experience. I think any time that you can take a kid out of their normal, ordinary life and throw them in a huge theater, you know, how many of those kids actually make it into a Cirque theater on any given day? Probably not many, a handful of them maybe. And whether they gravitate towards any one of them really doesn't matter. I think it's just the exposure to it will ingrain in their DNA some way or form. 
you know, it may come to fruition that they become artsy in nature or it may come into fruition that they just have a different outlook on life or a different outlook on people or the arts in general. I think it's all beneficial. Hey, are you guys excited? I want to hear how excited you are so the dancers backstage can hear you. Ready? Go! project is so great because it's something that really is for the people of Las Vegas. Beyond giving young and, and experienced choreographers the opportunity to, to create new work, but also to expose and to give back to the community, I think is essential for any organization as, as part of good corporate citizenship. This is a great introduction of dance as to where it, it has begun and where it is going and uh, where it is now. What I saw as the scene came together beautifully just from the uh, collaborative work. I think they grabbed onto it nicely. I think the story transitioned beautifully. I wish that I had had, you know, probably 12 more minutes, you know, to really go in depth and, uh, and elaborate more on the story, but I think it all came out really nicely. People need to remember that we're all passionate about what we're doing and that it's okay to not necessarily be on a hum and even keel, but to use our energy and direct it in a way that will enhance the process and make up for a better work. I'm addicted to dance, I'm addicted to music, I'm addicted to the melding of the two and the experience you get when you're on the stage. And it's, it's fun, it's really beautiful. Las Vegas is to continue to support the art here because to have something like this is very important for everybody to continue to support and that's how we can create more opportunity for the younger people. Look at the artists outside, what you're seeing on that stage that are involved. It's unprecedented in this, this country to have that opportunity and I mean, it's fantastic. <laughs>